Making sure Alaska Natives have a spot at the decision-making table. That was a big point made by Secretary of the Interior Deb Holland today. She spoke at the Alaska Federation of Natives Convention in Anchorage. Gina Fernandez was there, too, and breaks down a bit of how the conversation sounded like. Mike Holland spent a big portion of her speech addressing how the Biden administration is funding numerous multi-million dollar projects in Alaska. But folks I spoke with told me the big takeaway for them was that hearing how their voices matter when it comes to developing those projects. It's inside here that Alaska Native stories are being heard. And especially to uh, the villages, you know, the rural communities, because um, we have a hard time being heard. As secretary, it's my job to ensure that the table always has a place for you. That's exactly Gender what the Secretary of the, of the Interior, Deb Holland, wanted people to know on Friday at the Alaska center. Federation of and Natives so Convention. Your voices are the ones that must be front and center. That their voices matter. Sure you know that we're being heard. That's how some folks told us they felt after Holland's speech. Well, I felt like it was promising and that, uh, you know, exciting that she's going to be bringing stuff to the to Alaska. I am here today to share how we have delivered on those promises. As she laid out how the Biden administration is allocating $5.3 billion to Alaska. More than $7.5 million has been allocated from the National Fish Passage Program for projects right here. She says many of the projects were developed from the stories people shared with her. They came from many of you right here in this room, and that's why they have staying power. And folks telling us that getting their stories and voices heard plays a big part in getting the job done. You know, the more visits we get from out of state, from people that work in the Senate to work, go to the White House, the more we can get um, things to pass, um, to have our rights respected. As they hope, she will remember their stories after Friday. I'm hoping that she's able to speak with other villages, other towns, and bring light all the struggles that we're all having, like sovereignty. And continue to keep a seat for them at the decision table. Secretary Holland made no mention today of some of the controversial decisions she and her department have made that impact Alaska, such as canceling drilling leases in Enwar and stopping a road project to connect King Cove and Cold Bay. Alaska's news source asked repeatedly for an interview with Secretary Holland to discuss those issues, but her public relations team told us there was no time set aside in her schedule to talk to the media during her three-day stay in Alaska.